All right, everybody, welcome back to more Pokemon Legends. Last episode, we went to Lake Verity, took down a Gudra, and completed our first trial. Okay, so I was wrong with the end of last episode. It's sending us here, so we'll just, uh, We'll just go here. Man, I really hope it lets us go to Ice Peak Arena. Dang it. I mean, yeah, we only have one camp we can go to. Which isn't that big of a deal. Like I said, we can fly there, so it's not... You know, it's not that big of a deal. It is if we have a Sneasel, though. Not what I wanted to do. There we go. Yeah, I decided to make these episodes, well, not, I mean, they're shorter than, like, what a normal episode would be. Most of the time they run between 20 and 30 minutes. Still sick with a cold, so, but I wanted to play, so we just have to truck through it. I forget he can dash, too, so we should probably be doing that. We are probably going to have to climb here, it looks like. Okay, good. Hey, look at that. I'm going to leave that uh, closed because otherwise I'll forget all about it. <clears throat> I don't know how to make this thing go higher. But we can do that. I love having this little sneezler. If there wasn't so much talking in these episodes, like, between the characters, it wouldn't be that bad. But my god, there's so much dialogue, and it's usually just silly, so... Anyways, it doesn't matter. Here we are. We're at Lake Acuity. There we go. Here we are, Lake Acuity. You know, I've been told it actually contains seawater as well. Nobody knows why, though. It could be a fluke of geography, or perhaps it's connected to a Pokemon somehow. Lake Acuity is protected by the Pokemon Uxie? When Yuxi took flight, the knowledge to solve problems was born in people's minds. That's what the stories say, anyway. I'm waiting for my dog to start barking again. He barked at the end of last episode, or in the middle of it sometime. I'm sure it picked up loud because he's actually in my room. <laughs> the tool that can make caves simply appear from nowhere is quite a handy one to have. Let's go, Seth. I imagine there may be Pokemon in there protecting the lake's guardian. Take care. Now let's see what's waiting for us. Oh my god, that looks like a Zora arc. A menacing Pokemon stands before you. I actually think that might be a Zora arc. I know you don't need me to tell you this, Seth, but I've still got to say it. Be careful around that thing. Um, you know what? As far as a Zorark goes, who do we have? I think he's our only Pokemon with a Dark type move, and I think Dark type is probably what we're gonna need here. That's not what I wanted to do. I forget I can just do this. I hope this works. We'll see. We can revive him and use him again if we need to. I hope this is a Zorark. It looks like one. Yeah, 
It is a Zorark. Alpha Zorark. It's one of them. Look at all these wild Hisuian variants. Oh, thank God. Um, you know what? Let's see what we got here. No effect. Ghost type. Crunch is super effective. Okay. That's all we have. We've, we've got to hope this works. We're going to go strong style. Because that's the only way I know. Oh my god. Bravo. Slow clap. Slow clap. Bravo for Luxray. That was beautiful. I knew you could do it, Seth. I guess that's Uxie. Yep. Come, I will test your knowledge. Combi, Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dusclops. Combi, Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dusclops. How many are there eyes? Tell me each one, tell me each one by one, yet all at once. Can your combi, Zubat, Dusclops, what was it? I'm going to write this down, hold on. Hold on a minute. <laughs> I'll just type it in. <coughs> I'll type it down on my phone, hold on. <clears throat> Combi, Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, and Dusclops. Alright. How many are there eyes? Tell me each one by one, yet all at once. Answer me. Okay, I think I'm ready. Enter your... Okay, so a combi... This is really weird. Is it wanting the numbers, like, back to back? I don't understand this. Anyways, combi... I think it has six, doesn't it? Because isn't Combi the one that has like the three faces? We're going to put six. So we have to, okay, okay, I understand now. We have to put them back. Now, Zubat doesn't have any eyes. Golbat has eyes, but, and Crobat has eyes, but I don't, I don't think a Zubat even has eyes. I don't think it does. What happens if we lose this, by the way? Um, unknown has one eye. Magneton has three eyes, right? It's just a Magmite, and they have one eye, but it's three of them. And then Dusclops, oh my god, I think it only has one eye. I think it only has one eye. This looks so weird, I don't even know if this is right. Was that it? Take this piece of spirit to bind the new world. Wow. Okay, I didn't really understand that. How many are there eyes? How many are there eyes? What a weird way to word that. Yuxi's claw. Just one more to go. That was so weird. I actually thought I had that Dusclops one wrong. <laughs> no joke. I thought I had it wrong. We need to put him up front. I'm tired of not having him up front. <laughs> and we are leaving with them. Because I'm not doing that again. I assume all went well, Seth. Still, I must wonder. Why don't they just give us the red chain? While it's running about. 
I guess I can think of two reasons. To keep the chain safe and to test us. Perhaps you're right. Who knows what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands after all. Though having said that, isn't the red chain for mending the world? What use would some villain have for it? Who can say for sure? Maybe the red chain has some other use besides mending the world. You could well be right. I guess we'll have no way of knowing until we get the red chain for ourselves. So, shall we return to Mrs. Kagita's home? Mistress Kagita's. Yes, let's go back. I'm with you on this one. Although I do need to heal my um, Luxray. Wonderful. Then we can see if Mrs. Kagita has any more insights to share with us. Yeah, that was strange. About the eyes and whatnot. That was really strange. So that's Yuxi's Claw. I sense a warmth to it. The Pokemon of the lakes are strange. They seem to play on your mind somehow. Indeed. Yet we may just yet we may want to add just a dash more speed. Things in Jubilee Village are tense. What makes you say so? Seems a Pokemon has been glimpsed on the other side of the rift. One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants informed me that Commander Komodo has raised a force. Not to survey the Pokemon, but to subdue it. Should the need arise. One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants. You make it sound as if you're not one of them. Now, if, if a Pokemon truly were to appear from beyond the rift, what would become of everyone, I wonder? That settles it, Seth. There's no time to lose. We've got one more material left to find for the red chain. Let's go get it. That's the spirit. I'll come watch this historic moment unfold, too. Watch. Is that all you really do? Man, she's all over, Bolo. Remember, once you've sought the third lake and found what's needed for the red chain, make, sh make for the shrouded ruins. Alright. Well, this is even shorter than last episode. Next episode will probably be back on track because after we complete that trial, we'll go into the ruins and do all that. That way it'll be a normal episode. Thank you so much for watching.